My reaction when I, I, I immediately tweet, I turned right to my computer when I saw it on ESPN.com, and I treated, tweeted, woo-hoo, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. Finally, after Manny Pacquiao campaigned for this fight for five long years, after Manny offered every compromise on earth for five long years, after Manny publicly dared and dared and dared Floyd May or May not weather to take this fight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. finally quit running because he was shamed into taking this fight. And I want to thank you, my brother, my first take partner, my better half, if you will. I want to thank you for helping me shame Floyd May or May not weather into taking this fight because in the end, he had no choice. You finally came around over the last month or so, a couple of months, and you finally started saying, Floyd is looking worse and worse. It, obviously, his credibility and his legacy were beginning to teeter. So, in the end, Floyd Mayweather, he, he was going to be damned if he did or damned if he didn't. He was facing a couple of more easy fights, finishing 49-0 and and retiring with a big bad asterisk on his record because he ran and ran and ran from Manny Pacquiao. Or he could go ahead, suck it up, and fight the fighter that he clearly is still afraid of. To me, he could fight Manny and face 47 and 1, which is what he's about to, to, to experience. It's been a long time coming. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Obviously, I spoke to Floyd in the aftermath of this. I spoke to his peeps as well. He's very excited. This is something that he wanted, contrary to what you wanted to believe. Now, clearly, it's one of those situations where, although Floyd would never admit so, Skip Bayless, years ago when he was reluctant in your eyes to fight Manny Pacquiao, maybe because he felt that it, wouldn't have, it would not have been a fair fight because he had some questions about Manny Pacquiao, and we'll just leave it at that. But since in the aftermath, there's been a loss to Timothy Bradley. Since in the aftermath, we see Manny Pacquiao literally put to sleep in front of former presidential candidate uh, <laughs> Mitt Romney. I mean, the fact of the How matter is Romney that, get uh, into this? <laughs> times that have, times have indeed changed. In the <laughs> end, Romney? what it comes in, in the end, what it comes <laughs> down to, in all seriousness, Skip, is this: to me, Floyd Mayweather, there was only one way he could lose, and that is if he never took this fight. Because in the sport of boxing, what you never, ever, ever want is to walk away from the game with somebody saying you never fought that individual. Do you realize Manny Pacquiao didn't have his heart in one fight that he fought for the last five years? All he wanted for five endless years was one man and one fight, this man, this fight, this May 2nd. So Manny didn't care about Timothy Bradley. He definitely didn't care about a Marquez for, what was it, the eighth or ninth time. His mind wasn't in it. His heart and will and soul definitely were not in it. They are all in for this one. This is all he wants, one shot at this man on this night, and he finally got it. It took, him, it took him daring and mocking and daring and mocking this man until this man had no choice but to finally say, yeah, I got this. I, I got him. And then, trust me, Floyd woke up Saturday morning, and his first thought was, uh-oh. <laughs> I, I, I just did this. Now I can't back out of it at all. Unless you tell me Floyd might get scared and back out of it still, but I doubt that could yeah, happen. So, I'm just well, throwing it out actually, there. Hold on, hold on. Actually... <laughs> I do not believe, Skip Bayless, that you are giving Floyd Mayweather Jr. the respect and deference he deserves. Because remember, he's got two fights left on this huge contract. I think he's been incredibly generous here. He's not only going to spank Manny Pacquiao once, uh -oh. he's going to give Manny oh. Pacquiao After the license for a rematch one, so he can do it to him oh, twice. I forgot about that rematch clause. Oh. Floyd insisted on the rematch clause because in the back of his mind, deep down in his Time psyche, he knows what's going to happen on May 2nd. And then he can say, hey, rematch. Right. And he can well, maybe triple the, the income from this L fight. Is it, Floyd, a lot of money. is it Floyd needs more money? Yeah. But 
Listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me carefully because I got some IFB issues. I want you to listen to me and let me speak. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd. insists on a rematch clause in every fight he has. It's nothing special for Manny Pacquiao. That's always what he has done. And it's going to be the case in this particular situation. Because if this fight can generate anywhere in excess of $400 million, imagine what a rematch will do if, indeed, Manny Pacquiao doesn't get put to sleep in the first five or six rounds. I mean, this oh, could be... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you just go out there on the end of that limb? Was that a prediction? I put believe to sleep that Manny in the Pac first five or six rounds? Wow. No, 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 no. No, no, that's not my prediction. My prediction is Floyd Mayweather by TKO in the 11th. Thank <laughs> you.